Kind with style and good with math files to be later on piled to be good jobs and have nice styles. See, nowadays everybody think Asians are the nice dudes over there with the nice cars and everybody be like, hey, there's Sue. Everybody always thinks that we're always the good kids. Always the nice workers, not the good leaders, but the really cool kids. Like, oh yeah, the Asian, yeah, he does that Kung Fu or that Japanese style, whatever they call it, you do. Yeah, like that Taekwondo do do. Yeah, that one thing that everybody knows to you do. But I think that's a misconception. Everybody thinks that Asians are the really nice kids. The one who always get good jobs and always go out there and be someone that they're praying to be. I'm just saying the things. See, because the Asians I grew up with, they weren't the same as everybody thinks they were. These dudes had guns in their pockets walking around the street like everybody thought who they were, they knew who they were. Niggas coming from all the way from the street. Gangs you don't even know about, like TRG, OKB. Anybody hear these gangs? Yeah, I didn't think so. Because I'm not part of it. That's not me. See, that's a really big misconception that everybody tries to put together like it's a real big connection. Yeah, sure, you may know one part, but you don't know the other. It's really hard to do all these things, because man, I'm just standing here, I'm trying to like say all these things, and man, I'm just stuttering. But yeah, it's really crazy, because I see all these things happening, and everybody's like, oh my god, it's that one Asian, yeah, he's really cool, he's really nice. Oh man, you do Taekwondo, Kung Fu, whatever, that's really cool, and that's really nice, because you're all the way over there, and you're like balancing on that ice, and it's really crazy, and it's really nice. But nobody really knows about the hood and the way that you go through that snow, through that cold ass winter and that cold ass rain, because everybody feels that same kind of pain. Everybody comes from that really hardcore neighborhood and everybody just feels like they're really super misunderstood. Like, man, yeah, I wear these really weird clothes and I'm not about the hype and those really awesome weird poses. Like, I'm doing those selfies and those really crazy ass things, but everything they say, they don't really know about me. Yeah, I have this kind of style and this different kind of hype, but let me tell you one thing, it's not really nice. My cousin got shot up, yeah, and he died. I remember waking up that night like, mommy, what just happened? Why are you crying? I remember that day that my brother died. I, like one o'clock when I woke up, like, what's going on? Why are you doing this? Why are you saying all these things? Why are you yelling to me? Why are you crying, mom? Why are you doing all these things? Why are you saying no? Why is this happening, God? Why again? Why again? I look to my brother and I say, what's wrong? He looks at me and he turns around and says, oh my God. <laughs> it's really weird how life works. I mean, everybody just stands up and just goes to work. Feeling these kind of things that like, you don't know. I remember riding into the car, going to my grandma's house so we can all reconnect. Feeling the cold ass wind on my hand as I let the window down and man, that just felt like cold sand. Because life is really crazy, and I really know it's hard. My brother died trying to save his friend in that car. Racing illegally out on the streets, protecting his friend like it was nothing, like it was a kind of dream. <laughs> but it's always about those things. It's always about being a community and understanding who you're with. Because one day, your homeboy can be dead within those streets. And yeah, some of you may come from a different background. But I'm just saying this because, man, I don't know why. But I will tell you this. Yeah, maybe you won't remember me in a couple of days. you would be like, oh yeah, you're that one dude who kind of smelled like mayonnaise. But I'm just trying to give a message. And I really love all of you. And that's all I got to say for tonight. Thank you. I hope all of you.